Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from crafttestdummies.com. Last week I shared with you an overview of the Pix Scan cutting mat that you use with these silhouette machines, and I promised you a live demo so that you could see exactly how you bring things in and you can select your cutting lines. So I've done a live screen capture and a voiceover, so hopefully you will get a good idea of how to use this product, and if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. So let's take a look. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is open up the PIX scan window. So what we're going to do is go over to the upper left hand corner and the third icon in, at least in this version of the Silhouette Studio software, this is the free stuff, it's nothing fancy, um, it looks kind of like a ticket. So I'm mousing over it right here with my cursor so you can see it and now I'm going to just select that and it's going to bring up the last thing I scanned in. I'm going to go ahead and import something new. You can also import from your scanner, but for this purpose I'm going to import from a file. So import something from a file and what it's going to do is ask you to select something and I've gone ahead, imported a photo, I actually emailed it to myself and I've put it on my desktop just so that it's a little easier to find. Sometimes this is the most frustrating part of my whole process, is just trying to find uh, the photo that I'm trying to use. Um, oh, and here it is. So I'm going to select it and it will open. So now what you'll see is that it's loading the image. It's telling me it came from my iPhone. And here it is looking for these black registration marks around the outside. So always make sure that your photo is well lit and that it can see those black lines, because otherwise it won't be able to see the image at all. So. There we go. So now I've got this pixie gal, and this is from um, SCACD, and then I've got this little Chinese lantern. I just want to show you two different versions. So we're going to start with the lantern, and the first thing I want to do is actually trace it and cut it out. And if you've never done this before, it's it was intimidating to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy, but um, in order to trace it, you have to open up the window that is right here. It looks like a piece of toast with green jam on it. Actually, it's a butterfly, but it looks like green jam toast. And you're going to select the area. Then you're going to get this little cross hatch. And now you can go ahead and push down your left hand button of your mouse and select the area. So you can also do it on a touchpad, but it's so much easier on a mouse. So here, you know, you can make it bigger or smaller, but this is just the area I want it to look at. And when I depress the, the mouse button, you get this yellow kind of haze over it. So this is telling you how it's reading the image digitally. And this is why you have this high pass filter over here. If you notice, it's at like number five. I can slide it up and it turns all yellow or I can slide it down and it basically goes away. What I'm doing is kind of increasing the contrast so it sees the image. Now you see it's all yellow and I have a real definitive outline. So now I can actually go back to trace, trace the outer edge or trace and detach. Now, just for hoots and hollers, if I wanted it to be um, an image that kept the inside and the outside cut out, I would hit the trace and it would give me a trace around the outside. Here, I'll just do it. Hit the trace and now it's got the inside and the outside. So I'm going to leave this alone because I'm going to leave this paper right on the mat and it will cut this out inside and outside uh, and just leave it as it is. But let's take a look at this lady. I don't want to cut her out as a line. So first let's select the trace area again, highlight her, there we go. Now what you see is I've got lines, right? I don't want to cut out all these lines, otherwise it's going to look like, you know, just all these little strings held together. What I want this to do is actually just trace the outer edge. So I'm going to select this option. And now you can barely see, you see this little red line? It's only looking at the outside. It actually it didn't even, you know, trace the inside of the elbow. I'm just saying, hey, look at the outside for me. And actually, if I select it and move it to the side, you can see exactly what that cut line looks like. Now, first thing is, I don't want this. This is just a smudge. 
So I can come over to the left hand toolbar, select the eraser tool, and you see here you can have a small round or large round, a small square or a large square. I'm going to go with a small round, and I'm just going to erase this by mousing over it with the uh, button push down. Okay, so now I can have it cut out right along this line. Now, for some people like me, I actually like a little bit of a mat around my image. So what I'm going to do now is actually highlight the image until the little box comes up. And I'm going to come over here to this pentagon with an arrow. This is our offset window. And I can go ahead and click the um, offset and notice how it gives me an inside edge and an outside edge. Now that's too many edges. I don't want it to cut one, two, three different things. So I have to actually pull it to the side, get rid of this. I'm just select it and delete it like so. And then this one, I'm going to go back and use that eraser tool again because I don't want the inside version. I only want the outside version. And this is a little fussy. This may be too much for some folks to do. I just have not found a good way of only doing the outside offset without getting the inside as well. So is this a little fussy? Yes. Is this still easier than cutting with my scissors? Absolutely. And what's even better is that now that I have this image, I can either cut her out directly or copy this shape, put it onto another paper, and then just cut out a bunch of them and stamp inside. So what I'm going to do now is select it, bring it back, just eyeball it, and I'm going to go ahead and send this to cut now. Okay, so I cut this out. I just left everything right on the pick scan mat. And now the moment of truth where we pull them off and you can see that yes, it cut out my little Chinese lantern and left the inside characters behind. So I'm very pleased with that. And for my pixie girl, it cut it out just nice with a little bit of border around it, which is exactly what I wanted. So I hope you found this helpful and or informative. If you're interested in what the difference is between using the silhouette with the pick scan mat and the scan and cut, stay tuned. I'm going to do a side by side comparison. And uh, in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And most importantly, have a crafty day.